Okay. Um. Uh, <laughs> Shay, we're on the cusp, right? Yeah, something like that. We're on the cusp of things getting weird. Uh huh. So it's been like. That's not good. <laughs> Um, Is that going to be on? Are we rolling with this? (laughs) Yeah, that's fine. All All right, right, sure. sure. Um, Yeah, it happened a few times. I found out if I keep, like, I tried to resize it, but every time I do that, it just stops. Okay, so we're playing in windowed mode? Yeah. Um, For some reason, OBS just destroys my computer. I've been trying to stream uh, Dead Island, Mm because I've been trying to get that world record, and uh, it's just not working. Every time I turn on OBS, it it's gone. Shay is speedrunning Dead Island, hoping for, what, the co-op world record? Yeah, with a line. With a line. How's that going? Uh, we haven't tried since Thanksgiving, but we were pretty close last time we tried. Yeah? So I'm excited for that. What is the record right now? Uh, it's 236 <laughs> or something. Uh, is this us? Yeah. Friday, November 24th? 1616, that looks like it. Okay, do you remember, uh, what happened? Yeah, so we have Yuri, that? who's Bay. Yep. Um, Natsuki the Sundere, mm-hmm. Monica's the leader, yeah. and then we have Sayori, who we like haven't really talked to at all. Yeah, uh, you remember she went home early today because she was feeling depressed because you said you wanted to walk home with Yuri oh. instead of her. Oh, she's childhood friend. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, if you remember that. I've so. been nervous for <laughs> I've been nervous for an entire month mm-hmm. waiting for things to go sour. Oh, dude, you're in for a treat. Oh, hey, we can use the skip button to fast forward through stuff. Wow. Okay. Uh, is this the go home thing? No. This is um, who you want to work with for the festival. Okay. Because if you remember, Natsuki is making cupcakes, Yuri is making decorations, and then Monica and Sayori are working together. Shay, I'm really scared. <laughs> um, Shay has been building this up for a month. Mm-hmm. And... Hopefully it's not a letdown. I want you to, like, be somewhat <laughs> excited. No, no, no. No, I'm just nervous that somebody's <laughs> gonna die or something. Yeah. Well, um, I... So when I play a game, right? This yeah. isn't me just, like, hardcore crushing on Yuri. Whenever uh-huh. I whenever I do anything, like, even in quizzes, um, I stick to my guns. Like, uh-huh. like I make a decision early on, and I don't, I don't waffle, because yeah. I want to see the, the true ending of that branch. Uh-huh. So... You're gonna go with Yuri? Yeah. <laughs> what, I, what did I do? <laughs> Nothing, man. We're just going with Yuri. And we're Pibby. Yeah. Well, you're Pibby. Right. Uh-huh. Well, I'll probably be the most useful helping out Yuri making decorations. Me? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. Why would you... Natsuki? I can already <laughs> tell you're about to say something mean. No. Baka. I was just saying. Ugh. So you'll be helping Yuri then, Pibby? Yeah, yeah, sure. That's <laughs> what I'm gonna do. I'm glad. I have a bad habit of overthinking these sorts of things. No, you're fine. So, I think your assistance will be very useful. That's great to hear. Natsuki, will you be able to handle the baking yourself? I mean, yeah. I already said I would be fine. Okay, okay. Everyone can tell that <laughs> Natsuki is feeling a, a little sour. Yeah, dude. So, is that everything we need to go over? Yeah, that should be about it. Are you guys excited? Well, excited may not be the right word. Everybody is anxious. Yes. But I suppose I'm looking forward to it a little bit. Okay. Do you feel the same way, Pibby? Yep, me, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I guess you could say I'm interested in how it'll turn out. That's good enough for me. What about you, Natsuki? Hmm. (laughs) Natsuki? What? Why is everyone yelling at me? I didn't even do anything. No. That's not what I meant at all. Ah. Yuri anxiously glances between everyone in the room. I'm sorry for this. You're fine. I don't really know why Pibby picked me. It's because I love you. Aw. And also, your cupcakes are the best cupcakes I've ever had. They go really well with my tea. And nothing that I do for the event will compare to that, so... So It's true, everybody's gonna notice the cupcakes, yeah. like, immediately. Oh, they're very cute. Mm-hmm. I get it, I get it. I'm kind of surprised, though. Why? Um, well, I'm the one acting immature. I already know that. But you're trying to cheer me up all of a sudden. I know, I'm not very good at it. I'm sorry if I said something bad. Natsuki isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I are also taken aback by Yuri's words. 
when she already has trouble with words, trying to cheer someone up must be far out of her own comfort zone. But I begin to understand. Yuri was trying to sound like Sayori. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I can tell that she tried to say something Sayori would say at a time like this. Because Sayori always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. It's too bad she's depressed. So hey now. Oh my. <laughs> that can't be like... No, she can't be terribly devastated by that. That's not all on me. No, I mean, you know, it's a lot of things. If you're, like, remember her poems? They were all about, I'm giving my happiness away, I'm a depressed person. Oh no, she's giving from an empty cup, isn't she? Yeah. I kind of appreciated it. I'm sorry for making a big deal out of nothing. But I'm going to say this. Thank you. Hmm. you better <laughs> bet that my cupcakes are going to be the best part of the whole event. Ugh. I believe you. Yeah. I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. Alright, let's get out of here then. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Monica and Natsuki out the door as they chat between each other. Um. Yeah. I turn around. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. I realize that I don't have any way of contacting you this weekend. Oh, you're right. Do you want my number? I can't believe that slipped my mind. Should I give you my phone number? I think that would be the best way, yes. Alright then. Yuri and I exchange digits. Ooh, dang it. Yeah. Okay. Then I'll be stopping by your house on Sunday. You got it. Do I have parents? Are they gonna be home? Uh, I don't think parents exist. Cool. It's one of those games. Alright. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah come on over Sunday. Yeah? My house? Is that a problem? No, not at all. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I just thought that would be the one going to your house, since I'm the one helping you. Uh, I suppose that makes sense. But if you don't mind, I think I would prefer going to your house. She's gonna see all my, like, pin-up posters. On <laughs> yeah, all your really, really, Yeah, yeah all my, <laughs> my dakimakaras. Is that how you say them? I the body know. pillow things? I just call them body pillows. Okay. <laughs> Whoops. In that case, it won't be a problem. I decide not to press Yuri for a reason. It's not like it should matter much either way, so I'll just need to make sure my room is clean. I hope I manage to make myself useful in some way. I'm not nearly as creative as you are. Don't underestimate yourself, baby. I think that will make a very productive team. <laughs> Why did we go with baby? I don't know. <laughs> Even if you only choose me because you felt bad or something. Wait. You don't actually think that, do you? Hmm. I don't know. It's difficult to come up with any other reason you may have chosen me. You're forgetting the one reason with the most common sense. I love you, B. Aww. But... Yuri thinks to herself with an a good bit tense expression. P Yuri, you're overthinking <laughs> this. You wanted me to point out when you're overthinking, right? Eh? I didn't realize. I'm telling you, I want to. That's all there is to it. Do you believe me? I... Yuri thinks really hard again. She looks straight into my eyes for a long while. I believe you! Cool. As if it took her <laughs> tremendous effort, Yuri finally says that and relaxes her expression. And I'm really looking forward to Sunday. Hey. I am too. <laughs> After that exchange, I make my way out the door and Yuri follows. I can't believe this. Yuri is going to be coming to my house on Sunday? My anxiety shoots through the roof. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Even though I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point, there's no telling what might end up happening when we're outside of school, alone together. Whoa! Yeah, platonically building sex? crafts and... Oh, okay! <laughs> <laughs> More than that, she told me she was looking forward to it. Is this the chance I have to make... Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Y'all haven't even kissed yet, though. No. Or is it too early for that? <laughs> Only time will tell. But until then, I won't be able to take my mind off it. I seriously can't wait. It's already Sunday. That was fast. That quick. Yeah, it's <laughs> been, I've been getting really, really anxious about Yuri's upcoming visit. I keep telling myself there's no reason to be nervous, but it doesn't help much. Yuri is clearly an introvert and also an intimate person in general. There's no doubt that she'll open up a little bit when it's just the two of us. Meanwhile, we have even been texting occasionally. She was extremely apprehensive at first, but it wasn't long before I was already learning more about her. But putting Yuri aside, I haven't heard a thing from Sayori since she left club, the club early, oh no, the other day. It's not like we text each other all the time or anything, but 
I've been worried about her in the back of my mind. Between what Sayori said and what Monica said, is it really okay for me to put Sayori's- Oh no. Mm -hmm. Why can't I help everyone? That's a good question, dude. Why didn't I visit Sayori? Why you was there no have. option to check in on there her? There was. No, no, no. Well, you could have... Oh. Yeah. Uh -oh. You could have helped her. That was one of the options. Okay, yeah, here we go. But why did you wait until Sunday? <laughs> I don't you know. literally... I, I wasn't doing anything after school. I could have popped in and said hi. You could have. Rather than asking, I simply tell her I'm coming over. Because we do that. Once mm -hmm. I reach Sayori's house, I knock on the door before entering it myself. Uh, again, we used to play so often that we've made it a habit of simply entering each other's houses like we were family. It's really quiet. The house is quiet. <laughs> Sayori isn't any... No, this isn't gonna... No. Sayori isn't anywhere on the first floor, so I assume she's up in her room. It's already strange of her not to run down and greet me. I don't That's want really this weird. to go where I think it's going. I don't know, I head man. up to her bedroom where I finally find her. Sayori? Oh, okay! God, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this was going to turn into corpse party real quick! <laughs> no! Hi, baby. Oh, thank God. Um, I think I'm Sayori. You you like, are. I'm okay. just so, so happy to see you. Hi, baby. I fucking fell for that. I yeah. sit down in her room. Sayori forces a smile, but it's easy to tell that she's different. There's a minute of silence between us. You haven't come over like this in a long time, have you? Nah. I guess you're right. It has been a long time. Not much has really changed, has it? Sayori's room is as messy as it's always been. I also recognize the same stuffed animals and wall decorations that she's had for years now. Got a weird chicken. Though. I mean, I love that chicken. Do you really? I, is, there, is that on Etsy? Can I go buy that? I'm sure it is. I would put that in my room. <laughs> go right by my Nightmare Before Christmas pillow. Yeah. Hehehe. <laughs> If you came over more often, it wouldn't be such a mess. That's because I ended up cleaning it for you. How come you suddenly wanted to come over today? Because I was fucking scared. <laughs> Aren't you supposed to see Yuri today? Yeah, but... Wait, how'd you know that? Sayori had already left by the time we decided that last meeting. Monica told me. It's only natural for her to keep me informed about the festival preparations, right? Ah, uh, that's true. But what about you? Aren't you going to be helping Monica today? Of course. But I'm just helping her online. We didn't plan to meet up or anything. Oh, so it's just me and Yuri then. Yep. There's more silence between us. Sayori so stares in a random direction. <laughs> Everything about her behavior is really uncharacteristic. I finally get to the point. I just wanted to see how you were doing. After you left on Friday. When something's wrong, you can't hide it from me. Yuck. I know you too well. <laughs> so, uh, Sayori smiles, shaking her head. That's no good, Pibby. Yeah. Why can't it just be like it's always been? And this is all my fault. If I didn't get so weak and accidentally express my feelings... What? If I didn't make that stupid mistake... She never, like, outed herself for liking us. Are we a no. collective, Pibby? Collect, what do you mean? Like, together, we make one pibby. Oh. Uh... I think so. You think? Yeah. Really? We're I both, mean, we're both she has the childhood show. friend thing. Are you talking about Oh, Andy? you mean you. Like, together, we are pibby. Shay and What Alex. were you talking about? I don't know. I just... You were talking about Sayori and pibby. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> Reset. <laughs> Alright. Sayori was like, uh -huh. do you want to walk home with me? Not, do yeah. you like me? Mm -hmm. Right? But she meant it. She meant like, it, do, do you, you like, like me? me? Yeah. So. You said no. We're... Yeah, but that's a multifaceted question. Like, that can't count as me shooting her down. I mean, tell that to can't her, we man. have, like, a, just an open discussion about this? <laughs> like, she's so. my. She's probably we're best friends, and I want to keep it that way. Yeah. Well, can I just be friends with everyone and also date Yuri? I don't think Isn't so. Isn't that how man. life works? No. No. Girls are jealous, you know? Oh, jeez. Yeah. Then you wouldn't have been worried about me at all. You wouldn't have come here. You wouldn't have even been thinking about me right now. But this is just my punishment, isn't it? I'm getting punished for being so selfish. No. I think that's why the world decided to have you come over today. What the fuck are you talking about? It just wants to torture me. 
<laughs> Sayori! <laughs> I grabbed Sayori by the shoulders. What on earth are you saying? <laughs> are you... Is, what? <laughs> I know something happened to you. There's no other explanation for you to be like this. So tell me already. Until I know, I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Uh... uh <laughs> Sayori gives me an empty smile. You really put me in a trap, Pibby. But... You're wrong. Nothing happened to me. I've always been like this. What? You're just seeing it for the first time. W seeing what? What are you talking about, Sayori? Hehe. <laughs> You're really just going to make me say it, aren't you, Pibby? I guess I have no choice this time. The thing is... I have really bad depression my whole life. Oh. Did you know that? Why do you think I'm late to school every day? Because most days, I can't even find a reason to get out of bed. What reason is there to do anything when I fully know how worthless I am? Sayori. Why go to school? Why eat? Why make friends? Why make other people put their energy and caring to waste my having them spend it on me? That's what it feels like. And that's why I just want to make everyone happy. Without anyone worrying about me. Hmm. I'm in shock. I can't even figure out how to respond. I should have dated her, dude. How... The, no, a relationship is a patchwork solution to depression. Yeah. I mean, it, you know, mm -hmm. like, that doesn't fix her issue. She needs she needs therapy. Yeah. And a little bit of help. She needs love, but it doesn't need to be From romantic. Love. No, I mean, yeah. yes, absolutely. <laughs> like, as a friend. There you go, dude. No, it's really sad. How is it yeah. possible that Sayori kept this from me the entire time that I've known her? Probably because you're dense as shit. <laughs> Does she really want so badly for me to just not think about her? Why, Sayori? Eh. Why is it that you've never told me about this? It almost feels like I've been betrayed. Fuck you, Pibby! Ooh, ooh. Because if I knew Blame I would have done- Blaming the victim. I, I mean- <sighs> Because if I knew I would have done everything I could to support you. You don't need to throw the word betray in there, dude. You can just say you're <laughs> concerned. Even if there's only so much that I can do. I would have tried a little bit harder to make every day a little better for you. That's why I'm your friend. All you had to do was tell me. You don't understand at all, Pippi. Why do you think I didn't tell you? Because if I told you, then you would have wasted effort caring about me instead of doing important things. Well, I'd want to. I don't want to be cared about. It's bittersweet when people try to care about me. It feels nice sometimes, but it also feels like a bat being swung against my head. <laughs> That's why I want so badly for you to make friends with everyone else. Helping everyone be happy together is the best thing for me. But then I discovered something else, too. Seeing you make friends and get closer with everyone in the club, it feels like a spear going through my heart. So that's why. That's why I decided the world just wants to torture me. Every path leads to nothing but hurt. <laughs> You're right that I don't understand. I don't understand your feelings at all, Sayori. But I don't need to understand. Whatever it takes for me to help you stop hurting, that's what I'll do. No, Pippi. There's nothing. Nothing at all. The only thing that could have helped is if everyone could be like it always was. But I was selfish. I finally showed you what a horrible person I am. Tears streaked down Sayori's face. I made you join the literature club because I was selfish. And I was punished by my heart hurting in a way that I couldn't understand. And now you came here and I made you hurt too. I'm just weak and selfish. That's all I am. And that's why I'm going to accept these punishments. Mm -hmm. Because I deserve every last one. Without thinking, I once again grab Sayori's shoulders. This time I pull her into a tight embrace. Uh, Pibby. Sayori, I don't care if you feel selfish. I'm really happy that you convinced me to join the club. Seeing you every day makes it worthwhile enough. If I make friends with everyone else, then that's just a bonus. But please never underestimate how much I care about you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Pippi. Sayori isn't hugging me back. Despite my arms being wrapped around her, Sayori's arms remain at her sides. She starts sobbing next to my ear. No. Don't do this to me. Please don't do this. Pibby. I... 
Sayuri barely manages to speak between her sobs. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing, but all I want is for her to know that I care. If you have it in you to call yourself selfish, then you have to let me be selfish too. No matter what it takes, I'll figure out what needs to change. I'll make these feelings go away. And if there's anything that you need me to do, then you'd better tell me. I'll get mad if you don't. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Gently, Sayori finally puts her arms around me in return. I don't know anything. It's all really scary. I don't understand any of my feelings, Pippi. The only time I'm not feeling nothing is when I'm feeling pain. But your hugs are so warm. And that's really scary, too. Sayori lets me go. As she does so, I let her go as well. The festival is tomorrow. Yeah. It's gonna be fun, right? Yeah. How would you like for me to spend it all with you? Um... <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh... It's what I want. I promise. I... I think that would be nice, then. Yeah. Sayori wipes her eyes. If I could spend the whole day here, I would. Of all, of all days, this has to be the one where I have other plans. Maybe I should cancel. No, don't. Please, don't. If you did that, then I really wouldn't forgive you. But it's almost time for Yuri to meet me at my house. At the very least, do you want to come along and help out? It would be fun. To my surprise, Shayori... Shayori? Well... Shakes her head. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Was that a Freudian slip there? Maybe. I'm sorry. I don't know if it would be a very good idea for me today. You understand, right? Ah, it's kind of hard for me to fully understand, but I'm trying my hardest. It's okay. Don't worry too much about it. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Okay. I look forward to it. Good job, Alex. That was you good. Helped her out. Like, yeah, I'm happy to. I don't know. This we need uh -huh. to all hang out in a group. Yeah. Yeah. You and think? Then, and everything will be fine. Kind of weird he didn't mention. I guess you can't bring up therapy, like, on reaction. No. That, that needs to be something kind of, like, slowly. Into yeah. it. I say goodbye to Sayori and exit her house. On the way home, I find myself still feeling uneasy. But it's hard for me to keep thinking about it when Yuri is about to come over, too. I think Sayori is right. I shouldn't be worrying too much, and we're definitely going to have a great time tomorrow. I should just focus on what's ahead of me. As I approach my house, I see something that makes me feel a moment of panic. Yuri? Uh, thank goodness. You're a little early. I'm sorry I wasn't home yet. Were you waiting for a long time? No, I just got here. But I started to get really nervous when nobody answered the doorbell. You always could have texted me. If I had known, I would have reassured you and hurried more on my way home. Uh, I suppose that's true. I didn't think of that for some reason. This should be common sense to do that, but I decided to ignore it. Well, Alright, let's go inside. I see you brought a lot of stuff with you. That's right. Please have like a wagon filled with things. A oh, wagon? And did you manage to find everything I asked you to buy as well? Duh. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, cool. <laughs> Good job. At least I hope I got everything right. I'm sure it'll be fine. I take Yuri to my room. The first thing she does is glance around curiously. Which makes me feel anxious. This is a pretty. Is this our first time seeing our own room? Yeah. Okay. It's pretty nice, yeah. Pretty good, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's so clean. Ah ha ha! I cleaned <laughs> it before you came over, so. And that's very considerate of you to do. Ah uh, no, I would be really embarrassed for if, if, if for my room to be a mess while you were here. <laughs> hmm. Well, I do enjoy cleaning. I would have gladly helped you clean. Ah. That would be even more embarrassing. <laughs> Wait, don't look in there! That's all my pinup posters I took down! I snatch Yuri's wrist, which which is in the process of opening, opening a desk drawer of mine. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking for some reason. I was just spacing out. Uh, it's fine, it's fine. I let go of Yuri's wrist. Wait, are we... Oh, what? 
Hold on, maybe I have a... No, no, never mind. I'm gonna be quiet about this. I think... Hmm, I have a theory in my head. Oh, yeah? She puts both of her hands firmly in her lap as if making sure she's keeping track of them. So, um... Should we... Kiss? Uh... Yes. Cool. All right, great. <laughs> um, I have a few things planned that you can help with. All right. Decorations and other atmospheric enhancements. Can do. Atmospheric enhancements? <laughs> you know. Mood lighting... Aromatherapy candles? Potpourri. Oh, wow. I didn't know you planned on taking it that far. Of course. I want to help take our guests to a faraway place. Although many will stop by just out of curiosity. And for cupcakes, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that face. Yeah. I'm determined to provide an experience that will leave them wanting more. That's great. It's easy to forget that you're a pretty intense person. Uh... Intense? I guess that's the best way to put it. Is that a bad thing? Nah, none at all. It's something that I like about you, actually. Ooh. Is that so? That makes me feel relieved. Yep. And kind of happy. Yeah, no need to be so <laughs> anxious. You can relax a little. Relax. I brought some things for relaxation. <laughs> I was going to use them during the poetry. <laughs> oh yeah? Like what? <laughs> Let's see. Yuri Roma just threw her bag. Please just pull out a bong. She pulls out <laughs> a few candles and a wooden cylinder-shaped object? I I did some shopping on the way here, so I happen to have these in my bag. Is it a bong? I don't think so. <laughs> I plan to cover the windows in black paper and use the candles to light the room. Oh. I think that would be amazing, don't you? I mean, I think the other option would be a lot more funny. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What's that wooden thing, though? Is it a bong? I don't know. Oh, I'll, this? I'll stop asking that. I'll just... <laughs> it's a diffuser for essential oils. You could I still... Be <laughs> fine. It could just be words. Yeah. How familiar are you with aromatherapy? Not at all. Ah, is that so? It's one of my favorite contributors to a positive atmosphere. Depending on the oils or herbs you choose, you can change the mood of the air itself. Hmm. You can even feel it permeate through your body. Relaxation, positive energy, romance, reflection. It's almost like magic. Yuri takes the cylinder and pushes a switch on the bottom. In just a moment, a thin ray of vapor begins to spout through a small hole on the top. Wow, it smells wonderful. What kind of mood is that one for? This is a jasmine essential oil. It smells a little sweet and flowery, right? Yeah, it's a good way to, to describe it. I chose Jasmine for this event because it provides more relaxation. More than. Jasmine enhances your emotions and helps you feel them flow through your body. Okay. You feel warmer and your heart pounds more heavily. Doki doki. Doki doki. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think that will be perfect for sharing your poems? Yeah. Sounds suitable. But you seem to know a lot about this, so I'll trust your opinion with anything. Yuri smiles gently, clearly enjoying herself. She again reaches into her bag and pulls out several spools of thin ribbon. What are those for? Well, did you purchase the origami paper I asked you to get? Probably. Yeah, I have it over here. <laughs> we won't be using the paper for folding origami. What I'd like to do is write a different word on each paper. Well, we'll need about a hundred of them. Okay. Yeah? What will those be used for? Well, I'm going to cut pieces of ribbon to hang from the doorway of the classroom. Okay. Then we can fasten the paper to the ribbons to create a doorway curtain. Wouldn't that be beautiful? It would also catch the eye of those passing by the room. It may attract some peep some to peek inside. That's really creative. I had no idea you'd be so good at this, Harry. <laughs> Is that so? Yeah. Well, I suppose I do get a little intense, as you'd put it. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 ho. Uh, Yuri giggles with red cheeks. Is it just me, or is she more relaxed when it's just the two of us? Or maybe it's the excitement she feels from sharing something that she enjoys. Here's a marker, Pibby. You can write any characters you want. I'll help you once I finish cutting the ribbons. I'm gonna draw Goku. <laughs> <laughs> uh, alright. <laughs> Sitting on the floor together, the two of us get to work. I carefully draw a different character on each paper, doing my best to manage my bad handwriting. Yuri unravels a long strand of red ribbon to her desired length. Then she reaches into her bag once more and pulls out a pocket knife. 
Eh? The knife is strangely beautiful. Oh, is it like a Wiccan athame? Is she like a Wiccan? What are you? What? <laughs> like a witch? No, well, I mean, Wic it's like a real religion. Like, some some people identify as witches, I guess. But It's like a Satan cult thing? Not, not really. The knife is strangely <laughs> beautiful. The silver handle has an intricate pattern of waves etched into it. The blade itself is gently tinted blue. That's no ordinary pocket knife. It looks really fancy. Uh, well... Embarrassed, Yuri looks away. What is it? You're going to think it's weird. Yuri, whatever it is, I have no reason to judge. To each their own, you know? If you promise you won't be weirded out? Yeah, I promise. Alright. The thing is, I'm kind of into knives. Okay. They're just so pretty. I can't help it. I don't know what it is. The combination of craftsmanship and feeling of danger, maybe? Ugh, what am I saying? Please don't think I'm weird for this. Gahaha. <laughs> You're laughing at me. No, I'm not laughing at you. It's just funny how nervous you got about sharing. It's, well, it's an interesting thing to be into, I guess. But I think it kind of suits you. Suits me? Yeah, it's kind of intense. <laughs> Besides, it's a really cool looking knife, I can't deny that. It is, isn't it? Yuri relaxes her expression once again. Would you like to hold it? Yeah, I'll check it out. Yuri carefully hands me the knife with the handle facing me. Don't cut yourself. I take it and turn it around in my hands. <laughs> it feels heavy <laughs> and extremely solid. Where do you even get a knife like this? Curious of its sharpness, I fucking try it out on my neck. Are you alright? Well, yeah. Ow. <laughs> Baby. Why would you do that? Because I'm a dense motherfucker. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> I love Pibby, but he's a moron. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't expect it to be that sharp. It's a... She was about to use it. <laughs> I barely touched it at all. It's my fault. No, it's not. I'm literally about <laughs> to use it to cut something, and he's like, bah. I should have warned you. The knife is extremely sharp. It can cut through skin like it's paper. Or paper like it's skin. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, no. <laughs> A small drop of blood trickles down the side of my finger. Yuri, like, licks it up. <laughs> Yuri takes my hand and gives the wound a closer look. Uh. She stares at it and noticeably fidgets. If you're squeamish, I'll go wash it off now. Ah. Without warning, Yuri puts my finger in her <laughs> mouth and licks the wound! Oh! <laughs> That's a little weird. This is sexual, maybe? Is it? To somebody? Do you think something's gonna happen? It'd be a weird- I'd feel weird if this is how that kicked off. <laughs> she licks my bloody finger. <laughs> <laughs> I feel her tongue curl her- okay. Startled, yeah, I take my finger out of her mouth. <laughs> Ooh. Please forgive me. I wasn't thinking. Uh-huh. I- Yuri lowers her head, her face burning up. Yuri? That's the most embarrassing <laughs> thing I've ever done. How could I do something like that? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, uh, Sure, it was a little weird and it took me by surprise. But I guess she was just trying to help, <laughs> I guess. Uh, I think you're over- I think I'm overreacting a little. Ooh, yeah. She doesn't lift her head. What if she doesn't recover from this for the rest of the <laughs> afternoon? Alright, you know what? This might be a stupid thing to do, but I put her finger in my mouth. Is it- Yeah. Yep, there you go. <laughs> now we're even. <laughs> Pippi! <laughs> did, you, did you really just do that? Now we're even. <laughs> Yuri looks at me like I did something <laughs> wrong. You fucked up, boy! Uh-huh. <laughs> I knew that would be a bad idea. If not for the sweet aroma of the jasmine oil, the air would be extremely heavy right now. With some kind of weird sexual it, tension. Yeah. You're so weird, Pippi. Yuri giggles shyly. <laughs> Eh? You're recalling me weird? I have no response. I have no <laughs> words. Where do you keep your bandages? Uh, I don't think I need one, actually. It was a tiny cut. Look, it already stopped bleeding. I see. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. That's relieving. The tension is quickly lifted. We each resume our respective activities. I watch Yuri's knife cut through the ribbon like it's nothing but air. Meanwhile, I continue to make progress on the paper. After we finish attaching the paper to the rhythm, rib, 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 we lay them all out side by side. 
It looks better than I expected and will be very effective as a door curtain. It looks great! Good thinking coming up with this, Yuri. Uh, thanks. It's just something I saw online, really. Pinterest? Pinterest. Probably. Are you ready to move on to our next task? Yeah, let's do it. What do you have in mind? I'd like to create a banner. That's why I asked you to buy the paint table tablets. Oh, that's right. One of the items Yuri asked me to buy was a, a kit of watercolor paint tablets. We'll send about six cups of water to put each of the tablets in. Do you mind fetching those for us? Okay. Six cups of water. I'll be right back in a minute. Thank you very much. Oh, and just a little bit of water is okay. If you fill the cups too much, it'll be too diluted. Taking Yuri's advice, I decide to use small plastic bathroom cups rather than ba bathroom cups? For like brushing your teeth? People do that? Yeah. Alright. Rather than full size <laughs> glasses. I put them on a plate to catch any paint that drips, then bring it back into my room. Yuri? Yes? I come in to see Yuri quickly unrolling her sleeve, pulling it back over. Okay. Uh, nothing. Your face is a little red. Is it too hot in here or anything? Uh, no, not at all. Okay. I it's think up. I know her steez. Yeah? She's, like, obsessed with blood. You think? I, that's my theory. Okay. And this is, I think I know how it's gonna get weird now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah? I, <ca> uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I don't want to commit to anything yet. Mm -hmm. She could be an alien for all I know. Oh, believe me, it goes in a direction you won't expect. Okay. There's nothing wrong, so let's mix the paint. Yuri hurriedly dismisses me and takes it upon herself to unwrap the tablets, dropping them into the cups. So, I thought we would do something simple that would look very nice. I'd like to paint a gradient across the banner, starting with the colors for sunrise, then daytime, then sunset, and nighttime. Once it dries, I'll write an inspirational quote across the banner. We can hang it in the wall behind the podium at the front of the classroom. Ah, neat. What are you gonna write? Well, it will be more fun to surprise you. It's like death, murder, <laughs> extreme. Hail Satan. Yeah, <laughs> hail Satan. <laughs> Yuri smiles at me. If you say so. After rolling out the banner, Yuri and I kneel on opposite sides so we don't get in the way of each other. Yuri uses a brush and adds a few dots of different colors across the banner to serve as a color guide when we paint. This kind of reminds me of elementary school. Painting on a banner with watercolors feels a lot like the art class projects we had back then. It's relaxing. Uh, I'm sorry if this feels too childish. No, I don't mean that at all. It's kind of fun, you know? Yeah, it is fun. I'm glad you feel that way too. Yuri stops painting for a moment, thinking to herself. For me, I don't need to go out and do crazy things to have fun. In fact, I usually don't even want to. I just like when I can spend time with one other person. Even if it's something simple, like reading, it doesn't even matter if we don't talk much. Just having a friend next to me makes me... makes things feel a lot bit nicer. This is why she's back. She just wants to chill. Yeah? Yeah. She seems... she's so boring, though. Really? Yeah, in my opinion, at least. Uh, I mean, that's And fair. then the sophistication, I can't get You think she's that. pretentious? Oh, yeah, absolutely. That's... yeah, yeah you know. <laughs> I think that's all it takes for me to be happy. Is that so? Even if Yuri and I are quite different, I can understand where she's coming from. I feel that way about things like anime and games, where simply sharing the experience with someone can make me happy. I think I feel the same way. Yuri smiles gently. I knew you'd understand. Yuri leans over the banner to grab an unused paintbrush, but I move at the same time, causing my head to bump into hers. Kya! Sorry, go <laughs> aside! <laughs> Yuri reels back and I quickly lift my hands in surprise. Are you hurt? No, I'm not hurt. You just startled me, that's all. Sorry, I should have asked you to get it for me. It's not your fault. Ah, your face. There are droplets of paint on Yuri's face and neck. Is there something on my face? Yeah, I accidentally got paint on you. Sorry, it's totally my fault. I'll get a towel right away. I rush out and fetch a small towel, then I dampen it with hot water. I return to my room and kneel back down in front of her. Oh, oh my. Here. 
Sorry, I got a little bit. I was admiring the art for a second. Uh huh. I pat down Yuri's face and neck with the towel. Uh. Is something wrong? It's hot. I just didn't expect it. Soups yet. You're hot. <laughs> You're hot. <laughs> God, that's something I would say. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Make it super awkward. <laughs> I think I need to go home now. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't want to use cold water. Having finished, I start to retract my hand. She pulls it back. But Yuri... There, yeah, uh-huh. but Yuri suddenly holds my wrist. Wait. Eh? Just for a little longer. That, that's cute. You think so? I, Even I, if you're not dating? Or... We're getting there. I get. Well, you've already sucked on each other's fingers. I guess, so yeah, that's, that's like the, second base. We're already at least level three in this <laughs> yeah. relationship. It feels really nice. Ah. I keep my hand <laughs> still against Yuri's neck. She looks into my eyes. Is this, is this the day? Are we gonna kiss today? Maybe. Oh my goodness, it's an intense expression that I recognize from when she reads her books. Almost as if she's lost in a daze enveloped by her own thoughts. She breathes gently, half through slightly parted lips. What is happening? <laughs> is it the aroma of the jasmine oil giving me this dizzy feeling? Yuri's gentle fingers wrapped around my wrist, sending a tingling sensation through my arm. And suddenly, her face seems to be much closer to mine than it was just a moment ago. <laughs> uh, Yuri slowly pulls away. Ooh, rejected. Sorry. I've been feeling a little lightheaded today. I didn't mean to space out. That's fine. <laughs> I'm not sad, I'm just sad. The moment is over as soon as it began. Yuri picks up her brush again, but her movements seem clumsier like she's unable to focus. I remain silent, forced to ignore the event that just transpired. I hesitantly retrieve my own brush and continue following Yuri's example. That should do it! I finish filling the night sky with white dots that look like stars. Looking at the banner as a whole, it's pretty natural and pretty and natural looking. I think it came out better than I expected. I'm really happy with the results. Yeah, me too. Are you gonna add the lettering now? Uh, not yet. It needs to dry first. That's true, but won't that take a while? Well, perhaps it would be best to leave it here, then have you bring it in this morning. I can do the lettering in the classroom before our event starts. Is that okay? That's totally fine. Wonderful. In that case... I don't think there's anything more for us to do here. Woo! <laughs> you say that like you're glad it's over. Was I wrong to assume that you were at least enjoying yourself a little bit? <laughs> no, it's not <laughs> that. I'm just glad that we managed to get everything done. I see. I am too. I was a little concerned about time. I need to start making dinner soon. Ah. <laughs> so you don't have any time left? I was secretly hoping we would have extra time after finishing the work. Well, hmm. Yuri thinks to herself. I think it would be too responsible for me to wait much longer. I'm sorry. (laughs) I was hoping there would be more time as well. It's probably my fault. Sorry for being such a slow worker. No, it's not your fault at all. And the important thing is that we got everything done, right? Yeah. So... I shouldn't be disappointed or anything. Gathering all her things, Yuri seems to look a little downcast. Grab her by the, like, shoulder and just plant one. That's what I'm saying. (laughs) She just dropped a hint, and Pibby the dumbass motherfucker isn't gonna get it. I'm gonna do it. (laughs) Uh, Well, she pulled away earlier, though, so I mean... Well, yeah, that's true, yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess we gotta do, like, three of those things, and then we can probably kiss. Yeah, something like that. Gotta gotta practice getting up close. Uh Mm Uh-huh, yeah. It sounded like she rarely gets the opportunity to spend time with friends in a relaxed environment. But that doesn't mean this is the last time it can happen. We should probably, uh, stop the recording just to make sure it's okay. Yeah? Like, yeah. It's probably about an hour, I would assume. Oh, yeah. Probably about. 